Welcome back to Get Vision TV in association with Island TV. And we're here with none other than the beautiful, the ever -fescent, none other than our own vice mayor for the city of Miramar, the brainchild behind the city accepting the Reggae Girls Foundation's request of hosting their events here. None other than our own vice mayor. Come on, baby. We are so uh, we are so excited. Oh no, I got you. We are so excited. I'm just in awe of the fact that um, you just won and you're just out the box and just running. Vice Mayor Alexandra Davis, I got you. Hi, how are you? It's really great to be here. The turnout has been tremendous in support for the girls. All the proceeds are going to go to them so that they can compete without the hindrances of not having the wherewithal to do so. And so we're really happy and pleased that the community came out to support them and that you are also, you know, supporting them any which way you can. You can actually go to the foundation yourself if you didn't make it to the games, reggaegirlsfoundation.com and donate there. What's the drive behind you? Because you're just amazing. You know, just how you're doing everything. I know you're just accepting. And you're just here, there, and everywhere just supporting everybody. Well, you know, I was raised in Jamaica. And um, I know what it is, you know, when people want the community to come together. And I, I feel that Miramar, which is really the fifth largest diaspora in the United States of Jamaicans here, that we as a community can really grow together, excel together. And anything we can do to help our community build a good community and stronger community, that's what I'm about. So things like this makes us feel more like home when we bring the regular girls here. And I did everything that I could. I even went to Jamaica to make sure that this event came here so we would have something to be proud of. It would showcase our city to be an international destination and bring more people here. They can spend more dollars in our community, use our facilities, and really keep us on the global stage. That's what we're about in the city of Miramar. Well, on behalf of everybody, diaspora and all, we just want to thank you for accepting it and um, for, for supporting and for giving back. And as you know, we say it on Get Vision TV. If you can't get it, you can't realize it. Thank you so much. God bless you. And I know many, many more years to come. Mayor, everything. The city belongs to her. I said it. I'm from Coral Springs. I can say what I want. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> and guess what? This year she's going to be a bad girl for Christ. So she has to clear her calendar for July 11. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah. Well, welcome back to Get Vision TV in association with Island TV. And we're here at the Reggae Girls Foundation fundraiser. And we have none other than our own pastor, Tyrone Thompson. Yeah, we're not going to say Papa San, but you know, we have to do the thing real. Apostle Tyrone Thompson, how are you doing, man of God? Blessing, sis. One love. Always a pleasure. Every time. Um, you know, you are one of the first persons that they reached out to, to come and be an ambassador and, um, and, and support the girls. How do you feel about tonight? It's a privilege because, you know, to be a part of everything is a blessing, you know, to see what Jamaica can come, Jamaica come to. And we as Jamaican can come together and do something that's so awesome to touch the world. It's an amazing thing. And tonight you played. <laughs> yes. I look at 25 minutes. Can't roll it like them, baby, them, and record a gun of them. Them kill it, you know, but who wins still? But I'm God for 20, 20 minutes. <laughs> Where was the pastor? Pastor, yeah, man. Pastor, boss a sweat. Yeah, man, boss a little sweat and just roll it. Can't roll it like the like young days, you know, but. Praise God, you know. But back in the days, you used to play a lot of soccer. Yeah, man, only for soccer. I still play soccer, but go easy now, you know. Touch it in the middle and pass it off a little bit and not run too much on the flank, but just play in the middle and just pass it around. So you don't act yourself so much, you know. You know. So let me tell me, what is it that you're doing now with ministry and everything? No, we have two churches and, you know, I'm back and forth with Orlando. We're doing great. We are growing as a church, expanding as well. But we're doing other outreach as well, you know, touching other lives. And so we're looking forward to just expand more for this year. But we're touching lives around the world, you know, in Africa through internet and traveling as well. Yes. Praise God. And tell us a little bit about where your church is located and how, what are your service times and everything. Well, my church is at the city of Margate. And it's 6101 uh, 30, Northwest 34th Street, the city of Margate. 
and our service starts at 10.30 every single Sunday. And we have another church in Orlando. So if you're in the Kesimee area, anywhere in Orlando, you can meet us at 9.30 as well. Our website is ofkministries.org. You can get all the information that you need. So what's going on now with the music? Cause you know, me can't make, me have to make you touch a piece. I don't know where I got to touch, but you know, from Evangelist, Michelle is here. Something I have to touch. Well, we have something that come out, you know. We have, right now I'm in the studio as I speak, doing my new album, putting music together. We have singles coming out and videos coming out. So looking forward to a great summer with some singles as well. I saw where Cornelius Edwards and you were collaborating on something. Tell me a little bit about that collaboration. Well, we're doing a collaboration with multiple artists, from you know, international artists, as a benefit song from a, from a church. Yeah. You know, because we're trying to purchase a property. So, you know, we want to pull in a couple of the artists that I know as friends and just do one song together. So we have Cornelius and other artists kind of put together the demos for those artists to come forth and, and, and be a part of what we are doing. But it's just a song that we dedicate straight to ministry Every fund goes straight to the ministry to help the ministry to expand. So touch a little piece and one little piece. <laughs> <laughs> one little piece yes, sir. Awesome. Hallelujah. Blessing and honor. Blessing and honor. One love. Hallelujah. Ring ding 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 ticket ticket ding ticket ticket ding ticket ticket ding 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 ticket ticket ding ticket ticket ding. Come tell them magnificent 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 magnificent. Come tell them with excellent with excellent with excellent with excellent. Come say pray to be then pray to be then pray to be then pray to be then. Jesus is Lord. It's hype stay, I'm not want to bust the thing, but get vision TV. I am no say get vision T TV. I gotta release the thing the right way. But man of God, we just you know excited about what God is doing in your life, in your ministry, with your beautiful wife. You have a turn in Panarcas incognito, but we know she can't stay incognito for too long. And you know, both of you are doing a, a wonderful thing. Pastor, I need to just come here for a minute with, because um I started uh uh, 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 a ministry, I, I wouldn't say a ministry, but the Lord just laid it on my heart about saying no to divorce. And your Wednesday, Wedding Wednesday, is it's called or something like that. I'm not. It's Wedding Wednesday, Wedding Wednesday. Wednesday. And I sometimes I get a chance to jump in and jump on and be a little bit nosy. But you know, my my thing is hashtag say no to divorce and just to see what the Lord has done with both of you in your marriage, it's amazing. And so I just want you to just tell us a little bit about why you decided to do that. And I want to be sad, Pastor. Because <laughs> we are talking about marriage. And so I just want you to just quickly tell us about, you know, um, what is it you're doing. And on June 15th, we're going to be doing a walk somewhere in Fort Lauderdale. If the city of Miramar wants us to do it, Commissioner Max, the embassy is there. We'll do it. But tell me a little bit about what you, what is that you, you know, why you decided to start this marriage concept on Facebook. Well, there's a need, and uh, we have been through a lot of stuff. And um, the thing is, we have seen so many separation and divorce, and especially within the church itself. And so, you know, it has been a burden, and um, we just wanted to make sure that you know people can get the word when it comes on to marriage and there is a solution which is the word of God and so this is how the concept came up you know we talk we call it wedding Wednesday because it is wedding Wednesdays okay. and so it's a midweek thing so we just you know use it as uh, we have a passion to you know see marriages you know being um, you know being healed and and people coming together and you know as, as married couples you yeah. know to to show the world you know that we can be um a solution to what is happening within marriages not only within the church but also within the world that we have to understand what marriage is about and marriage is you know god uh, uh, instituted by god it's before the church is before family because when we go back to the foundation which is adam and eve we have to understand you know how important it is why god put this instituted this before you know the church before the family there has to be a reason and so we go into the, the word of god to explain you know and we want to see marriages healed we want to see couples coming back together and we were called you know for the the um the ministry of reconciliation and we can see this being manifested through marriages that people can be edified even through our marriages because if we can forgive each other you know as married couples you know, our children are there looking on, you know, others are there looking on. So the thing is, it is a ministry, you know, it is something spiritual that we have to understand. It is designed by God and not unless you do it God's way, will it be the right way. 
Well, thank you so much. And we just want to say to all of you that are watching that's going through separation or a divorce, try to work it out. Um, you know, it's not easy. I know what I'm going through and um, I know God has his hand on it. And I'm just praying that God will have his will and his will be done. And so I just want to thank you for stepping out and being transparent and letting everybody know what you went through and know that God has put you back together and it's your stronger and, you know, you're not turning your heads to say, you know, you don't care about others. You want to see the family because, you know, it's being said that suicide among teens, it's happening because of divorces. So we have to say no to divorce. So even though we're here at the Reggae Girls Foundation, we just want to say no to divorce. All right, God bless you. Thank you so much. On behalf of Get Vision TV and Island TV, we just want to say thank you for tuning in. We'll see you in a little bit. As you know, Evangelist Michelle checking out. If you can't get it, you can't realize it. One love. Welcome back to Get Vision TV in association with Island TV. And we are here at the Reggae Girls Foundation fundraiser in Miramar. And we have with us none other than our own Sidella Marley. And I know that the Reggae Girls are doing amazing things. And because she's the global ambassador for the women's football in Jamaica, I just want to ask her what it is that she's doing with them and why is it that she got involved? Um, I got involved purely by accident. My, my, my youngest son over there, second to the left, he brought home a flyer that uh, Laverne had, Jifty at the time. And you know, his coach was his coach and I asked what it was and he didn't know so I called, I called a number wow. that was actually on it. And um, I ended up speaking to the then president, Captain Burrell. Right. And I just said, you know, we want we want to help as a as a foundation. And he had he had bigger plans for me. Sorry, sorry. Go on. <laughs> We're at the game. What do you think is going to happen? Yeah, we, we you see the passion. You see the passion. <laughs> sorry. We're live, right? Yeah, man. Oh man, I apologize. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, but listen. Here I am today. I'm loving. I'm loving the work that I'm doing with with the uh, the women's program and with our team, and uh, we just have to keep going at it. I mean, like after after we come back from France, we have Pan Am Games, we have games in Japan. We have, we really have a lot of things that I have to like now focus on because we've gotten over this threshold. And um, I want to introduce you to Hopi. We're live. Come here. I want to introduce you to Hopi from the Alacran Foundation, who has really come in to like give us like that. They put us over that line as far as funding is concerned. And um, Hopi is like a big fan of the Reggae Girls, and she's from the Alacran Foundation. Ask her a question. Uh, tell me why. <laughs> why did you decide to do it? The Alacran Foundation is committed to Young Lives for Life. We're based uh, in Jamaica. And the funding that we're currently giving is for um, supporting these young ladies all the way to the World Cup and beyond. We want to support female football players beyond the World Cup. And so this is the best place to start. Definitely. And tell me a little bit about the foundation. So the foundation uh, president and founder is Alessandra Losavio. She uh, is based out of the UK, but now really resides most of her time in Jamaica. She fell in love with the country. She has a big heart, and she really wanted to do what she can, and she is able. So um, Sadella Marley and the Bob Marley Foundation introduced us to the Reggae Girls, and here we are. <laughs> well, thank you so much. On behalf of Get Vision TV and the city of Miramar and Jamaica and the world, we just want to thank you because, you know, money makes the mayor go. You know, and the Bible says money answers all things. So without the money and the resources, you know, we couldn't do this. So, yeah, so we just, we're just grateful that you decided and your team and your foundation to back these girls because they really need it. Strike hard. <laughs> Strike hard, you heard it. Well, on behalf of Get Vision TV and um, Island TV, we just want to say thank you all for checking in, tuning in. God bless you. You know how Evangelist Michelle says it. If you can't get it, you can't realize it. One love. Strike hard. Well, we're here with the reggae girls, and we have two, the two goal scorers sitting with us. We have Shade and Tiffany. Tell me a little bit about the game tonight. Um, we started off down 1-0, and uh, we both started off, so I feel like we both just wanted to come in and help the team in any way possible that we could. And do you remember you came in in the second half, right? Yeah, yes, I did, yeah. I came in the second half and scored a goal. Yes. <laughs> yeah, very exciting. So do you attend school? 
Excuse me? School. Yes, I do. Um, I just graduated from high school. I'm going to be attending Southern California, University of Southern California. And are you on a scholarship? Yes, ma'am, I am. So how do you feel going to the World Cup, qualifying for the World Cup with this team? Um, it's definitely a dream come true. I mean, ever since I was a little girl, I wanted to go to the World Cup. So the fact that it's happening this early is kind of crazy, and I'm just so excited. I can't wait. I know you are going to do well. You know, tonight's goal was amazing, so I'm just looking forward to it. Tell me a little bit about you, Tiffany. All right, well, before I came in, I did tell Shadi, I said, we have to be the difference makers. You know, it doesn't matter how much time we get, we have to put on a show. Um, so that was, that was the goal. It was to come on, make an, make an impact, um, and that's what we did. So I'm, I'm really happy, and, then, and the crowd showed out really well, too, so it was nice. So where do you live? I live in Canada, um, but actually I'm, I'm currently in, in Norway. I play professional football there um, for Starbuck FC. So I just signed this year. Well, we're excited about you. I want to tell you thank you so much for really showing up tonight and showing out because there's no way that the reggae girls could come as the reggae girls and not win. So we're excited. God bless you. Tell me one thing that you just want to tell an upcoming soccer player. Um, don't give up on yourself, no matter, they're going to have haters everywhere you go, but if you believe in yourself and just keep looking forward, I promise you, you'll get there. I would say don't let anyone discourage you from the main goal, and you, you have to, if you want to get somewhere in life, you have to set those goals, and you have to work every day um, to achieve them. So it's about doing the little things every day. Well, you heard it tonight from the two goal scorers for the Reggae Girls team, and they came down 1-0 and just beat them. And you know what? We're excited. Remember, go to reggaegirlsfoundation.com and donate. They need your support. Remember, the Bible says money answers all things. So they need the resources. We can always jump and shout, but we need that money to take them to France in Jamaica style. Li, 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 li. As you know, we say it in Get Vision TV, in association with Island TV, sponsors B&B &B Roofing. If you can't get it, you can't realize it. One Love Evangelist Michelle, check it out. <laughs>